YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop and another project video. Couple things going on today, but it's all focused around how do you sharpen drill bits. If you've got a machine shop or if you've got a wood shop, pretty much any kind of a shop, it seems like drill bits always seem to multiply. You always end up with that box, that drawer full of ones, and you're not quite sure if they're sharp or not. So very good skill set to have to be able to sharpen it. And honestly, I think once we take a look at it, you'll find that it's a lot easier than you may have thought. I know everybody seems to think there's a lot of mystery around sharpening drill bits. And you know, I think once you get into it, you get the hang of it. You may not have to get them exactly perfect, but you'll be able to take one that wasn't drilling and wasn't doing very well before and make it drill pretty darn good. So we'll get into doing that. So we'll do some smaller drill bits. And we're also going to talk a little bit about how you sharpen some of your larger drill bits, even up to this large one. So when you get into some of these large ones, the biggest challenge can be you want to make sure that you keep the, the length the same so that they're cutting even. And uh, before we can get into doing that, first step is we need to make a little jig. All drill bits have a center hole in the bottom. So if you've got a center post and you've got a little mark, a place to mark on the wall, a plate with some blue dye on it, then that's what we're going to use to be able to check to make sure that we're keeping both sides of our drill bit the same length to make sure it's cutting equal. So first part of the project is we're going to make that jig to put on the wall so that we can check the length of these. And then once we get that done and hung up, then we will get into actually sharpening some drill bits. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the channel, if you like the videos on machining, welding, everything else we've got going on here in the Blades to Be Shop, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. You'll know when the next video comes out. We're trying to get them out for you every week, typically on Saturday morning, sometimes even on Friday night. So again, hit that subscribe button and you'll know exactly when that next video is out. All right, well, in order to make our jig, we're gonna head over to the lathe, and first we're gonna turn a little piece with a 60 degree angle on it and thread it so that it'll go into a piece of angle iron, and then we're gonna get over to the mill and mill up a couple other pieces so that we can get them hung up on the wall. So let's head over to the lathe and let's take a look at what we're building here. Come on. All right, so before we can sharpen up our larger drill bits, what we wanna have is a little post. We're gonna mount that post inside of this piece of angle iron. We're gonna hang that on the wall because all of your larger drill bits are gonna have a center hole in the bottom of them. And then we'll be able to put that drill on that post and then be able to lean that and mark it onto the marking plate that we are also gonna put on the wall. So that's the plan. So just a quick little project to, we're gonna drill a hole in this. We're gonna turn a point on this piece, turn it around, cut a thread on there so that we can bolt it onto our plate. And then we will go mount that to the wall in addition to mounting another piece of aluminum plate onto the wall that we can put some dye on to scratch lines on over time. Let's knock that out really quick and then we can start sharpening some drill bits. Well, there's our little center post done. So let's head over to the milling machine and let's knock out our other couple of pieces that we're gonna need to mount this in and then we'll get this hung up on the wall. All right, let's head over to the mill. All right, first step, we're just gonna clamp this. 
we're just going to clean this off and make it fairly squared up. So that is step one. We're just going to square this up and then we will drill a hole in the center of this to mount that post that we just made. So let's get that knocked out. Well, there we go. There is step one of sharpening some bigger drill bits. Well, now that we have our jig all built and hanging on the wall, let's talk a little bit about how this works. So here's our 60 degree center that we turned, bolted onto this piece of angle iron down here. And we've got our other piece of aluminum up on the wall. Got some blue dye on there so that we can continue to put fresh dye on that every time you need it. And here's why. So again, every drill bit, once they get up to size, they're gonna have a center hole down here in the bottom. And as you grind it and as you get it sharp, you're gonna to wanna to check to make sure that you're keeping both of these the same and the length the same, the angle the same. So what you do is you put this up here and you tip it and you're gonna scribe a line. So you can see that that's where that side is hitting. I spin it 180, touch it with the other one, and they are both the same length. You can see we're making the same line there. Get a longer drill bit here, same thing. We're gonna put that on its center. Put that first edge up, you can see where that's scribing. Second edge up and it's scribing right on top of that. So that's gonna be, these are brand new. These two drill bits have not been sharpened yet. So as you can see, brand new. What you'd expect, they're both scribing and cutting in the exact same spot. You can get in there and get a closer look. There was that line for the bottom one. So I started with a short line, made it a little bit longer. You can see that those line up. And same thing there on that longer drill bit. So that's what you'd expect from brand new drill bits. They're gonna be machined so that they are gonna cut equal on both sides. So we're gonna focus on this one inch drill bit to sharpen to start with. But before we do that, let's actually see just how this drill bit is cutting right now when it was brand new. And then we'll see if we get it cutting the same once we sharpen it. So let's head back to the lathe and let's try drilling into a little bit of aluminum and let's see how this one inch drill bit is cutting right now. All right, so we're gonna drill into this piece of aluminum bar with that one inch drill bit. First, I'm gonna face this off really quick. And in order to really see how well a drill is cutting, you can't have a pilot hole or a center hole. As soon as you have a pilot hole or a center hole, then it's typically gonna walk back and forth a little bit and it will cut a little bit truer to size. So to really see where it's cutting, we don't wanna have it pre-center drilled and we wanna have it pushing right off the middle of that drill bit to see if the both sides are the same. So let's get this faced off and then we'll get our drill bit in here. 
All right, let's take a look at how this brand new, well, been used a couple of times, but never been sharpened before one inch drill bit does. All right, so it did not bad, but you'll notice, even though we made our marks on the wall, and our marks on the wall looked very equal, you can see I am still getting a bigger chip off of this side than I am off the other side. So even though my marks on the wall look good, we're still getting a little bit more cutting and a little bit more pressure on this side over here than we are on this side over here. That's good, but even that mark on the wall isn't gonna get you that last couple of thousandths of an inch, and you can see that even a brand new drill bit never been sharpened, you know, not gonna be perfect. So what that means is the drill may be drilling a little bit oversized, it's drilling a little bit more off of this one side, but bottom line, it's still cut pretty well. And you're typically, if you're using a drill bit, you are not going for a precision exactly the right size hole. You're trying to get rid of material in a hurry and that's what a drill bit does. But we wanna make sure it cuts nicely and it's sharp and able to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that side of the drill bit. So right now, this side is the one that was cutting a little bit more material. And let's see how we do after we get this one sharpened up a little bit. So let's head over to the grinder. Let's try and sharpen it. We'll face this back off again so we've got a nice clean surface for when we come back. And we'll try drilling it again after we sharpen it. So our first step in sharpening our drill bits is figuring out what angle drill bits we already have or maybe you're changing it and what angle you're going for. So this one inch drill bit that I have is already at a 130 degree point. So that's 65 degrees aside. And I've got my protractor set for that. So I'll be able to keep that angle the same as we get that sharpened. Most of the smaller bits that I have are gonna be 118 degree. So, you know, Starrett makes this nice little tool gauge, but if you don't have that, that's fine. You can use your protractor. As you're getting started, you are gonna wanna have something to be able to get your angle and be able to check to make sure that you are grinding on the right angle. So that is step one, is know what angle you're going for. Plenty to read, it's typically you're gonna find either 118, 130, or 135 degree drill bits. Different reasons for using different ones based on hardness of material. Bottom line, most jobber shop, most hobby shops, 118 degree drill bits work well for most everything that you're gonna be doing and drilling. So we'll get to the smaller ones and we've got our 59 degree set, but for this first one, like I say, we're going for 130 degrees and we're gonna keep that the same. So we're gonna to continue to do that. That overall angle is our first step. The next thing we need to think about is this is our cutting edge right here. This is our leading edge, that's where it's gonna cut. And that cutting edge needs to be what makes contact with the part. So this part of back here of our drill bit needs to have clearance. You don't want all of this rubbing. So if we get that up there close enough, you can see that that is actually on an angle down a little bit. So that is giving you clearance away from that lead cutting edge. So those are the two main angles that we need to worry about. This one, again, the goal is you're trying to get this similar to the other side, but by getting our angle correct here off of both of those, that is where we need to make sure that we keep that lead edge the same. We need to keep that the same height so that they're drilling even pressure on both of those. And if we end up with a little bit more angle back on one side of these than the other, not the end of the world. So you don't wanna to have too much angle. You don't want this way down on an angle back here because that's gonna weaken that point and then it'll chip. So you wanna have just enough angle that you have clearance, but you still wanna maintain strength on the front of that. So how are we gonna do that on the grinder? Let's get it zoomed in and let's take a look at what that's gonna look like on the wheel. Okay, so with a larger drill bit, it's a little bit easier to see, but the way we're gonna sharpen the drill bit is we want to hold that lead, that cutting edge that we have. So this lead edge of our drill bit, we want that to be right exactly horizontal across our grinding wheel. So we wanna hold that horizontal right there. And then we're gonna move our drill bit up, and down and we're gonna basically grind that little bit of relief, that angle away there. And we're gonna, so you see that I've got the, the back end of the drill is down on a bit of an angle and I'm gonna grind up to 
that cutting edge. That's where I want to get it nice and sharp, remove all my chips or anything away from there. Get that up to that and then moving away and just a little bit more pressure on the backside to get rid of that. And then I'm going to flip this 180 degrees and I'm going to do that the same. It's going to be just basically a rocking motion as I grind that. So there's no twisting. I'm not trying to twist as I'm grinding. I'm lining up again that cutting edge horizontal across and I'm just moving it straight up and down grinding to that cutting edge right there. It'll be the same when we get to smaller drill bits. It's just a little bit harder to see, but there is, again, there's no twisting, nothing like that. We're gonna get that right horizontal and move straight up and down, making sure that we have more clearance. We're taking more material off back here than we are at that front leading edge. So let's turn the grinder on and let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so part of it you just go a little bit by time and by feel to try to grind equal amounts off. Now this is a split point, so this has narrowed out that web. And you'll notice that as you grind shorter and shorter on a drill bit, this web in the middle gets thicker. So you will want to go in there and thin that out a little bit by going in on the, the backside like they've done here. And they've already done that on this drill bit. They've already ground that away on the backside. But if you drill bit doesn't have that already, again, all you're doing is going in on the backside and you are just thinning out that web like what they have on these grind lines right here. So that's thinning out the web. This one also has a double grind, so I can get rid of a little bit of material back here where I now ground into that. So we can thin that out a little bit. And again, that's just gonna help reduce that surface contact there on the front. So I can thin that out. This is my sharp point. Anything I do back in here now, it's just removing metal from clearance. So I've already got it sharpened. Now I can just get rid of some material back there. And if I don't get it perfect on both sides, it's gonna be okay. It's these two tips and those cutting edges are what we need to have the same. The rest is, you know, try and keep it the same, but we're just getting rid of some material. did not go up to the point. I don't want to go up and mess with the point of the drill bit, but I did clean that up a little bit on the back side. So now let's go over to our check on the wall and let's see if we are making good contact, if we get a nice line on there so that we have ground those equally. And then we'll take it back over to the lathe and we'll see how we're doing on drilling. All right, we'll get some fresh dye on there to get rid of our other mark. Give that a minute to dry. All right, so I made my two lines on there and they are not quite the same. So I've actually got, so this one on this side is a little bit higher. So I need to go take a little bit more off of this one. And actually I tried to take a little more off the one that was cutting extra before. And I guess I took too much off of that one. So I need to take a little bit more off this one to balance it out. So I'm gonna go hit that on the grinder and be right back. All right, so now I'm a little bit below where I was before. I think that is pretty close to equal. Let's take that over the lathe and let's see how that drills. Okay, so we still have our mark on here. We know that this is the side where we had the, the bigger chip coming out before. So we had our bigger chip coming out of this side. So let's see how that ends up coming out this time around.
So you can see our two chips are a little bit more equal this time around. And I think they're a little nicer looking chip. So you can tell that that is nice and freshly sharpened here on this aluminum compared to, let me find one of those chips that we had before, tangled up in some other ones here. All right, so here's our two chips this time that are a little bit more equal. And if you look at this other chip that we were getting off here before, just a little rougher, a little bit more jagged. These ones are coming off there a little smoother right now. Let me see if I can, yeah, I think we've got good focus on that. So there was the old chip, here's the newer ones. So again, you can tell our drill bit is a little bit sharper and it's cutting a little bit nicer this time around than it was before. So that is sharpening our one inch drill bit. We have that sharpened. We've got that cutting nice and equal on both sides. And we used our little jig on the wall to make sure that we had both of those the same. You can see we sharpened it once. We got one of them a little bit too uh, short. One was a little bit longer. We took a little bit more off of that. We got them balanced out. And that's how it should cut. So that only took us literally a matter of minutes to touch up that drill bit and get it cutting well. Let's go back over there and let's look at a smaller drill bit. And, you know, let's really dull one up, muck it up, and see if we can't make it cut and drill again. All right, so what I've got here is a 13 30 seconds drill bit. This one, I picked 13 30 seconds because I can grab it in a collet on my mill really easy. This one's a little chewed up, so I'm actually going to deburr the shank a little bit more here when I do that as well, just to make sure that's going to fit nicely in a collet. And right now, this one has been sharpened a few times, still holding a pretty good 59 degree angle there. But definitely, it is not a new drill bit. It has been sharpened, but you can see we still have some angle coming away. We still have some. Uh, you know, we don't have a straight line going across, but let's try and sharpen this a couple of different ways and then we'll go see how it drills and we'll really show you that we can mess this all up and we can still save our drill bit again. So right now I'm going to sharpen it pretty much straight across. I'm going to try to get so that no relief so that, uh, or even our, our cutting edge is going to be down. So we're going to get this angle still looking at 59 degrees, but I'm not going to do the relief angle down there, and we'll go see how that drills or doesn't drill. And then we'll come back and we'll save our drill bit again. Okay, so I have sharpened the drill bit. I've maintained this 59 degree angle over here. So I have maintained our 59 degree angle, and I have also, this has a measuring on it, so I've made sure that I've got both sides of this equal distant. So that may seem like it's gonna look good, but let's go and see if this will actually cut anything or drill anything right now. So again, we got our 59 degrees, but I left it flat across here. I didn't angle it down. Let's go see what happens if we try to drill with that. I did go back and buzz that shank a little bit just to make sure it's gonna fit nicely in my collet. All right, so we've got 500 RPM, just a chunk of aluminum in here, and let's see how this does. Until I bend that drill, it's going to walk all around. And it is just barely. So it's not going to do anything. I mean, it has shined that up. We've just polishing and polishing a spot in there, but it is not going to drill in any way, shape, or form. And we know exactly why, because we left it pretty much perfectly flat on there, so it has no lead angle to cut. So let's go back to the grinder and see if we can fix that. There, you can take a look at what that did to the end of our drill bit. Basically just pushed a big piece of aluminum up on the end. There we go. 
But yes, our drill is totally flat on that angle. It's actually probably a little bit downhill. It's making contact somewhere up in the middle there. Definitely not contacting on our cutting edge. So we're not cutting anything at all. Let's go back, grind that up, come back and see how it does. All right, so let's try that again. We're gonna keep our 59 degrees, but we are going to make sure that we bring that down a little bit with some clearance off that cutting edge. So now, last time I was holding it pretty much straight across, so that did not work. We're gonna hold it down, but just like on that one inch drill bit, here, this is where I'm trying to get my angle from. So I take my 59 degrees. Now if I put that protractor, that's making a straight line across right there. So that's where I'm gonna get my angle. So you can help yourself by lining that up off your grinding wheel, get that lined up, and then I need to make sure that I have this angled down to get that to cut properly. So I do that, I flip it 180, I do it the same, trying to keep all of those exactly in the same place as I roll that around, and should drill a lot better for us. All right, so there is my newly ground point on that. So we've kept our 59 degrees again. So we've maintained our 59 degrees, nice and smooth. I'm using a 120 grit belt on here as well. You know, a lot of uh, aluminum oxide grinding wheels are gonna be 80 to 100 grit, somewhere in there. So if you have a aluminum oxide grinding wheel, that works also. Uh, belt grinders happens to be what I have. Now this originally was not a split point bit, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. So again, in order to make it a split point multi-angle, I now have my cutting edges. So I don't wanna mess those up. I don't wanna go in there and I don't wanna remove the middle of my point. I don't wanna dull that, but I can do just about anything else with the rest of this material all right in here. None of this is my actual cutting material right now for this drill. All my drilling is happening on that chisel point and on these leading edges. So if I wanna get rid of a little bit of material right here, I can do that. Now, I wanna try and make it look the same on both sides, but that isn't critical right now. I just don't wanna go in there and I wanna thin the web a little bit on the back side of this point, but I don't wanna mess up my cutting edge on this side. I'm gonna do that over here on the, the back side of the wheel a little bit. I'm gonna thin my web out just a little bit right there, and then I'm gonna put a multi-angle on this. Now I've got a little bit of different angle coming off the back and I thinned out that web a little bit to give my chips a little more place to go. And I didn't mess up my chisel point. I didn't mess up my two leading edges, but I got rid of a little bit of extra material there. 
Let's go see if this drills a little bit better in our piece of aluminum. Let's head back to the mill. Let's wind down to a fresh spot there. Let's see how that does. So those are the two chips I'm pulling off of there. So a little bit thinner, a little bit of a different chip off of one side of that than I am off the other. But the bottom line is, it is cutting very nice, leaving a nice finish. Now let's go ahead and punch through that hole and see how it goes. So not perfectly equal chips off of both sides of that, but not overly working one side versus the other. And that was after totally destroying the tip and the cutting edge on that drill and then grinding it and saving it from what would have been a total, you could have just about chipped the end. We probably took a good eighth of an inch off the tip of that drill, grinding that back and, and still got it to cut, uh, you know, just like it was brand new almost. Let's go back and take a look. That was a medium sized drill bit and we'll try sharpening a really small drill bit and see how that works for us. Let's head on back to the grinder. All right, so here's a 1 8 drill bit because I know I have a 1 8 collet I can put on the mill. And this one, well, it's over in my junk bin. Looks like it's drilled something before, but it has not been sharpened before. Still new there on the tip. Yeah, so there you go. You can see that's still new on the tip. So let's totally destroy this. All right, well, now we have pretty much a flattened the tip of that drill bit that is destroyed. And let's see if we can resurrect that and save it. Get it back into shape. So now I don't even have a good angle to follow anymore. So let me come over here and, all right, this is the angle that I want. I'm gonna follow the same principles. You know, I need to find out where are my flats. So I wanna keep that, that land of the drill right there. I wanna keep that right out to the side. I wanna get it on my angle, keep that to the side angle back and then I'll do the 180 and we'll resharpen it. So again, where's my angle on here? Uh, there's my 59 degrees. Can use that to help you out. So that quickly, I've already saved it and brought it back. We can check our angle here. Angle looks good. Now I have little lines on this ruler to measure, but really it's amazing how well you can eyeball that and determine whether you have that back in the, back in the center or not. So it looks like that's pretty centered. Let's go see how that drills a hole. Let's head on back over there. All right, we sped that up a little bit for a 1 8 drill bit. Let's see how that's going to drill for us now. All right, it started out nice. It's hard to get both chips. They just want to fly away. Bottom line is... That cut a really nice hole. No squeaking, no anything, no big burr out the bottom even. We totally flattened off the tip of that 1 8 drill bit and then we went ahead and resharpened it. And again, it cuts just like brand new with just a couple of seconds of grinding. There's that brand newly sharpened drill bit working just like it is supposed to. 
Well, there is how to sharpen three different sizes of drill bits, a couple of different angles, and for some of those larger ones, how to put a jig, how to get that mounted up on your wall so that you're able to check the length of that drill bit and make sure that you are gonna get that cutting on center and equal on both sides. So hopefully that was some helpful information for you. And if you've got a box of used, broken, dull, didn't wanna use them anymore, drill bits hanging around your shop, hopefully you'll be able to get some use out of them now. Well, YouTube, there's a wrap on another project video here in the Blades to Be shop. Hope you got something out of that one, whether you've got small, medium, large, or even really large drill bits. Hopefully that gives you some information on how to save some money, sharpen those, get some more life out of those tool bits. They really are meant to last a while, and it really does just take a few minutes to sharpen that. If you've got a aluminum oxide grinding wheel, a belt grinder like what I have here, pretty much any kind of grinding wheel can sharpen them up. And you'd be amazed how much money you can save by getting a little bit more life out of your drill bits and just how much more pleasure you're gonna get out of drilling. If you drill a couple of holes and you know your drill bit's getting dull, pull it out, go spend 30 seconds to a minute on your grinder, and it will make that drilling operation a much better experience for you as well. So, hope you got something out of the video. As always, appreciate you watching. If you like the channel, you like the videos, wanna see more of them, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you'll know exactly when we get the next video out. I'm trying to get them out for you every week. And if you've got some ideas, throw them in the comments. Always looking for different ideas. Wanna make sure you're getting the content that is what you are looking for in your shop. Please drop those in the comments and uh, we'll make sure we're doing something that is of interest to you. Until the next video, hope you're out in your own shop, making some chips of your own, working on some of your own projects, and we'll see you soon. Take care.